Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's Nathan Lucas from freedominfluencer.com. And today we have an awesome topic. We're going to be talking about how to be more positive. And I'm going to go over 10 different ways to achieve this. All right, you guys, let's dive right into the video and the 10 different ways to be more positive. And starting off with number one is to just be grateful for something every single day. Now, I know a lot of us, we go through hard times, we go through hardships, and it seems like we're going through hell, but in the midst of anything we're going through, there is always, always something to be grateful for. So our job is to figure out what we can be grateful for. And we don't really have to look far. Um, here is an, an article uh, from lifehack.org. Just so you guys know, every single thing in this video that I share with you guys, uh, I will leave a link to my website and I'll, I'll have all the show notes so you guys can visit all the resources uh, that I'm sharing with you in this video. But uh, to be grateful for something, you guys, we don't have to look very far. Um, you know, you might not be able to say you're grateful for all of these because they don't apply to you, but this is a great place to come to just find something, right? If you're having a hard time finding something to be grateful for, jump jump onto this article and I'm sure there's something that you can be grateful for. And in order to be more positive, we have to start with what we're grateful for because there's always something in our lives that's going wrong, but at the same time, there is always something that is going right that we can be grateful for whether it be we have good friends uh, we have freedom of religion depending where you live uh, maybe you're off on weekends that's something to be grateful for unless you love your job and you don't want to be away from it uh, but that's another story uh, maybe you have pets that you love maybe you own a home all right you guys there's a lot of different things to be grateful for I would recommend jumping over to lifehack.org. Like I said, I'll leave a, a link to this. But you guys, starting out, we need to be grateful for something every single day. And that alone, just this first tip alone will help you to become more positive on a daily basis. All right. Uh, let's jump to tip number two, which is to eat healthier. Now, depending on where you live, I know all of us Americans... We all deal with eating bad. Now, I don't I say all, but it's not everyone, but as a whole, Americans, we have a hard time with this because we have so many fast food restaurants, we have so many different things uh, that are available to us. But what I want to to tell you guys is that you can simply jump online to find better ways to live a healthier life, okay? Now, this is from berkeleywellness.com. I will also leave this here. But this is 14 keys to a healthy diet. Now, it's really simple to use Google, okay? It's really simple to find healthier ways um, to live a healthier lifestyle. And when we live a healthier life, we feel better about ourselves. Uh, we if we sustain it for long enough, uh, we get the body that we want. And in that, we become more happy with our body, which leads us to become more positive. So you guys, don't take this lightly. Our health is a big deal, okay? We are not our bodies, but we live in our body. So it's, o it's only our job to take care of our body. It's nobody else's job to take care of your body. So do your best to take care of it and you will start feeling better, which then makes it easier for you um, to be more positive, okay? So number two is eat healthier. Number three is to listen to good vibes. You guys, music, uh, especially for those of us out there who are musicians, we know the power of music, okay? And you don't have to be a musician to know the power of music, but I want you to think about the, the type of feelings that music can produce, that music creates within your, <clears throat> within yourself. Music is a powerful way to change your mood. And if you're listening to negative music, it doesn't take much to bring on a negative attitude, okay? So if you want a positive attitude, if you want to be more positive, 
Uh, you can simply listen to better music that helps you in being more positive. So here's another website. It's uh, inspower.co, and I'll link this in the show notes as well. But there's 47 songs here uh, that will put you in a good mood. Now, whether these songs are for you or not, I don't know. I'm not even going to show them to you because I think that music is a lot of it is personal preference where uh, some people might say this type of music makes you feel good and more positive. And on the other hand, that same exact music might feel make someone else feel different, maybe depressed. It doesn't mean that that music is one way or another. I just think that we all have uh, different preferences when it comes to music and there's nothing wrong with that. But just know that uh, listening to specific type of music for you can put you in a better mood and make you feel more positive. So number three is listen to good vibes. Number four, be around positive people. All right, guys, this is a big one because out there in the workplace, we, we're around a bunch of different people. And more than likely, if you have to leave your house to go to a job every day, you come across people who are not so positive on a daily basis. And over a, a long period of time, this can really get to you and it can actually bring you down. And, you know, maybe you are a positive person, but you're surrounded by people who are negative or it doesn't even have to be a lot of people, but there's just that one person. And I know a lot of you might know what I'm talking about. You might have that one person who's not positive and over time it just wears you down. So here's the deal, guys, is surround yourself if the best you can is to get around positive people. And this absolutely has an impact on your life and how you are in your positivity. All right. So here is um, a, a website here and it talks about the power of surrounding yourself with positive people. And this is from uh, peoplewithpotential.org. So I will also have this linked up for you guys uh, to check out. But it just goes to show that the people that you surround yourself with the most uh, is really going to have the biggest impact in your mood. So if you want to be more positive, surround yourself with more positive people. All right. Number five is practice positivity on purpose. And here's what I mean about this is, you know, you're on this video right now, you're watching um, tips on how to be more positive, but merely sitting here and listening to me give you tips without putting into practice, uh, being more positive with purpose, do it on purpose, uh, take action with the purpose and intent of being more positive. If you don't take those actions and all you do is listen, you're not going to get the results that you want in your life. You're not going to get the results you want to becoming more positive. So if you really want to become uh, more positive, a person who has a positive energy about yourself, you have to practice positivity and do it with a purpose. All right. So here is another website uh, by Tiny Buddha. And this is a bunch of tips that you guys can come in here and check out for yourself on training yourself to actually be more positive. There are specific things that you guys can do aside from what I'm teaching you and sharing with you uh, in this video. Uh, there's more actions that you can take uh, to get rid of negativity and be more positive and bring more positivity into your life. Okay, so number five is practice positivity on purpose. Number six is to smile often. You know, I've heard people say that motion creates emotion. And when we smile, that is a type of motion that we're creating. So what type of emotion do you think that's going to cause in you and in your life? Is it going to be a negative or a positive one? Well, we all know that smiling is a positive thing. So definitely I recommend Guys, as much as you can, smile often. And I don't mean that in a cheesy, oh, I have a, a weird ass smile on my face all the time. I mean, smile. There are things to be grateful for. That was tip number one. And I know a lot of times when you guys think about those things, you won't be able to help yourself from smiling. It's a good thing. Don't hold yourself back from smiling, you guys. It will bring 
uh, a positive energy into your life. And, you know, whether or not that's cool or not, it doesn't matter. If you want to bring this into your life uh, in a bigger way, focus on being grateful and smile for those things that you are grateful for. So on psychology today, you guys, uh, there's an article here called uh, There's Magic in Your Smile. Uh, this is one that I recommend coming in here and reading. I'll have that also on my website in the show notes, and I'll link that down below. So six is to smile often. Uh, seven is always be learning and growing. All right, you guys, I put this one in here big time by uh, what I've experienced in my personal life. Okay, you guys, there are times in my life where I have felt more depressed and then there are times when I absolutely, I, I feel on top of the world and I feel amazing. I feel happy. I feel like I'm a, I'm a ball of positive energy rolling down a hill. And I can tell you right now that based on my experiences and based on analyzing why I have felt certain ways at specific times in my life, I can tell you right now, there are times when I've been stagnant in my life where I wasn't necessarily pushing to learn, learning something new. I wasn't growing in any way in my life. And then there were times when I was going, you know, really hard on learning something new, whether it was maybe when I was in college or when I was taking, you know, courses or learning a new skill set or growing in my personal development. When I'm hot and heavy in those things, I can tell that I am I'm more positive in the outcome of where I'm headed. Okay. And when I'm not learning and, and we are not growing, you guys, we can slip into, uh, this stagnant phase in our life where we feel depressed and it's, it's a lot harder to be positive if we're not learning or growing. So I definitely recommend, uh, to be learning or growing, uh, in some way at all times. Okay. Uh, here's another article by the Huffington Post. It's called Why Learning Leads to Happiness. And it, this it's just more backing on the psychology and why we should always be learning something or we should be growing in some sort of way, whether that be in your personal life, in your relationships, which I think we should always be wanting to and striving to grow in all areas of our life. But if we're not growing, if we're staying in one place, you guys, it's a lot harder to be positive when that's happening to us. So the best you can always try to be learning something new and growing and developing yourself in some sort of way. All right. Number eight is to face your feelings. Now, if you're anything like me, a lot of times we will actually have some feelings that will come up. Something will happen in our life. Maybe it's something tragic. Maybe it's something that, you know, we had a loved one pass away or something, someone got hurt or you got hurt. But the, the base is the baseline here is that we have feelings that we don't necessarily want to face. Okay. And it happens to every single one of us. So if you're hearing the sound of my voice right now, I know that in your life at some point, you've had feelings that you didn't necessarily want to feel. And the thing is, that makes you human, okay? We all have bad experiences. We all have things that we wish didn't happen in our life. But we also have the responsibility to face those feelings. Or you could also say to acknowledge those feelings. When we sweep them under the rug, you guys, all we're doing is we're letting it build up and we're causing more stress in our life and it makes it harder to live a positive life. So you guys, if you have something, some some sort of event or something that's happened in your life that has brought on feelings that you do not want to experience, I do not recommend sweeping them under the rug. You guys, let's face our feelings on what we're feeling and acknowledge them so we can move past them. Not necessarily get rid of those feelings, but we can acknowledge them and we can move on, okay? So here's another article that I'll link to you guys. It's talking about facing your feelings and how to handle sadness and pain. I don't know if that's what you're facing or this pertains to you, 
or not. If it does, feel free to go check this out. But you guys, definitely facing what you're feeling and acknowledging it will help you to move on and live a more positive life. And I can guarantee that. All right, number nine is to do something that matters. You guys, I'm so big on this. Um, You know, the funny thing is that um, a lot of times this is, uh, it's correlated to entrepreneurship, or at least in, in my world anyways. And I can tell you right now that when I was younger, there were some of my friends who wanted to become entrepreneurs. They wanted to follow their passion and live a life and do something that mattered to them. And I remember vividly thinking to myself that they were crazy. They were retarded because following your passion or doing something that matters in your life, it doesn't always bring in an income or at least not immediately. I believe you can monetize any passion no matter what that is. But if you do something that matters, which typically revolves around impacting the lives of others, which we'll talk about here in just a minute. If you do something that matters, you you guys, if you're looking for a positive life, this is it, okay? It's by doing something that matters. And I want to share something with you guys. Uh, I've been a follower of Brendan Burchard now uh, for a few years. And this guy has been such an influence in my life. And you can see, and in the lives of many other people, And you can see it's a, this is his, like his motto right here is live, love, matter. And this is what I'm focusing on here is something that matters. And he talks a lot about impacting the lives of other people. And if you, if you guys don't know Brendan Burchard, uh, I know the first time you might, you might hear him, you might think he's a little crazy. And I know a lot of people do that. It's because he has such a high energy, which I love. I love his energy because he's so positive and his mission is to positively impact the lives of others and equip them to follow their passion and live a life that matters and be able to monetize that. And I think, you know, years ago people used to say you can't help other people and, you know, provide value to other people and make that your job. And people used to think that those couldn't go hand in go hand in hand and Brendan Burchard is definitely a voice that speaks a, that speaks for you know monetizing your passion. So if you guys ever haven't ever heard of Brendan Burchard or maybe you have, definitely I recommend following this this guy. He he's incredible. He's an awesome speaker. He's an amazing author. Uh, he has amazing books out that will um, that can have a huge impact and make a positive change in your life. So if that's what you're looking for. Uh, definitely check out uh, Brendan Burchard, okay? Uh, Number 10 is to help others. And that's what I was talking a little bit about earlier is you guys, no matter what you do in this life, no matter what you choose to do with your day, we all have the same amount of time in a day. We all have 24 hours in a day. But I can tell you from experience and uh, from what other Uh, experienced people in this life who have been greatly successful, uh, they, they will tell you, or if you listen to people who are, you know, their time is coming to an end. One of the biggest and most rewarding things that you can do with your life is to live it for others and help other people. Okay. Uh, I can tell you right now that in, in my personal life, I've noticed this. Okay. When I've tried, I, I'll go off in two different ways. Sometimes, you know, I'll find myself only living for me and what matters most to me and what can I do for me and put Nathan number one. And when I start doing that and I fall into this trap of me, 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 I get so self-absorbed and I forget that, you know, I am gifted in helping other people. And when I'm only focused on what I can get and what what's it, what's in it for me, I'm I'm now... I'm, I'm stealing from others the value that I can share with other people. And I believe that's the same for you. I believe every single person in this world has value and something to share with other people. But when we become so focused on ourselves, we forget to share our gifts. We forget to, to spread whatever our talents are and help other people in some sort of way. So you guys, 
I definitely can tell you right now, helping other people is the best way to live a positive life. It's it's amazing how it can change your life when you're helping other people. So uh, this is Forbes.com. Like I said, all these are going to be in show notes. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description of this video below. But this is 10 ways to help uh, uh, to help others that will lead you to success. So not only will it help you live uh, you know, a, a more positive life, but it's also, it can help you lead to success. And there's a book that I recommend called the go giver, which talks about becoming successful by giving. And it's an awesome book that, and I read it, I think it was about a year or so ago. Uh, and it's not, you know, some people might hear that and say, Oh, well that, that sounds dandy. All you do is just give, give, give or whatever. But you guys, it's about giving what you have uh, f- to benefit others and you can monetize off of that. So you, when we have a mind shift of take, 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 what can I take out of this to, you know what, I'm just going to give value, 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 give as much value. Uh, if, if you're really trying to build up a business, that is the way that you build uh, the no like, and trust factor, okay? People will start to trust you. They'll feel like they know you. And guess what? People buy from those who they know, like, and trust. And so I can tell you right now by by reading that that book, by listening to the advice of mentors and p- other successful people who I look up to, I know for a fact that if you want to be successful and you want to do it in a big way, the best way to do it is to help others. So you guys, I really hope that this video was help helpful to you guys. Um, and if I missed anything here, I'm definitely open to you guys. Go down in the comments. Tell me something you know that you are thinking of that I missed or maybe you want me to include in a future video or if you have topics that you want me to talk about in a future video, uh, leave that down in the comments below. Also, feel free to comment on anything that I talked about in this video. Uh, what did you guys think of it? And uh, if you guys did like this, help the video out, help my channel out click that like button down below. I would greatly uh, appreciate that. And if you guys want more videos like this, you want to join <laughs> the, the team as of freedom influence influencers, uh, go ahead, subscribe to my channel. I put videos out like this, uh, you know, every single week and I would love to have you subscribe. So you guys, this is Nathan. I appreciate you guys for being here. If you want to learn more tips and tricks and get training on how to grow a successful business online, Uh, Just jump over to freedominfluencer.com and I've got uh, a bunch of training uh, there for you guys uh, that I believe that you'll benefit from. So, all right, you guys, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.